Hello, good day. This is Doc Lee once again, and welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new to my channel, so please make me happy. Kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell for you know updates on my new videos. For today's episode, I will be giving you one of my secrets in making a research that is hacking the review of the related literature because many students are requesting me on my techniques on how I did my review of related literature and I will share to you some hacks, some techniques on how to make a review of related literature, literature in just one day or if you have access to internet in just one night. Okay? So stay tuned. You cannot be denied that for a student, doing the review of related literature is very difficult. And it is even challenging to some researchers like me. So for today's episode, I will be giving you a tutorial or let's see a hack on how to have an easy time in writing or doing your review of related literature. Before you will be writing or researching about your review of related literature, first you have to identify the variables of your study. So in our example, impact of COVID-19 on the mental well-being of learners in the public school. So you have two variables here. First is COVID-19 and second is impact of COVID-19 on the mental well-being of learners in the public school system. So these two are the areas of which you would focus your review of related literature. In the variables of your study would make you identify what are the possible first theories. Of the variables of my research entitled Impact of COVID-19 on the Mental Well-Being of Learners in the Public School is on the mental health. So I browsed the net, net about possible theories on mental health and Google gave me these five possible theories on mental health. So first, we have analytical or developmental by Freud, Jong, and Kohlberg. Then behavioral by Watson, Skinner, and Pavlov. Third is cognitive by Tolman, Piaget, and Chomsky. Then social, Bandura, Lewin, Fessinger, humanistic. Then I have the last one is personality by Erickson. So out of these theories, huh? I may select two or three. Uh, so I may select one from Watson, then from Bandura, and then from Ericsson. Okay, so not necessary that you will be uh, using all the theories of these experts on the field of mental health. Okay. So now you're done with your review on related theories. So the next part of the RRL is on the related laws or the review of the legal basis of the study. If your sources of related legal basis are laws and department directives such as circulars, orders, and memoranda, and others as well, these laws and department directives serve as the legal basis for the paradigm of the study. In my study, I am using two laws, specifically Republic Act. First is Republic Act number 11036, which is all about Mental Health Act. So this is an act that is relevant to my study. Then, second, because my uh, the respondents of my study are students, so I am also using Republic Act number 9155 or the Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001. The next part of the RRL is the review on the related studies. So related studies, my dear students, refers to related researches of your topic. researching about researches on COVID-19 researches on COVID-19 and let's try to look into okay so, so that's it so I am given different suggestions or I may write the word PDF 
on researches and because usually if uh, the the file is pdf on the pdf um they are researches so that's the technique The last part of the RRL is a presentation on related concepts. Or related Looking articles. for related... This refers to the ideas and opinions of experts, not necessarily a product of their research. So here I am presenting a sample of related literature, not necessarily as a product of research, but express opinion. I am presenting only one, but you may use three or more. Okay, so they are readily available in the internet. My dear students, when you are writing or presenting your RRL, it is very important to acknowledge the owner or the author or the authors of the work. Because plagiarism is presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own, with or without their consent, by incorporating it into your work without full acknowledgement. All published or unpublished materials, whether in manuscript, printed, or in electronic form, is covered under this definition, so you must be careful. Plagiarism in the Philippines is covered by Republic Act 8293 or the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. This law protects the rights and the interests of our writers, scientists, and artists. However, for the purpose of research, academic, or school purposes, we may copy part of the work of other experts or other researchers as long as they are properly cited and as long as you are also rephrasing the works of the experts. So we should be careful because this law imposed penalties, both fines and imprisonment. So I hope that you will be guided with this Republic Act 8293 in writing or presenting your RRL as well as when you are actually doing other works, academic works in, in particular. If you're not also familiar with paraphrasing or even if you have problems with spelling, then you may use different apps found on Android phones and other high-tech or high-end phones and laptops. And so usually I use Grammarly for my spelling and for my paraphrasing. Okay, so everything is available on the net. Come on! So as a summary, when you're doing your review of related literature, first and foremost, you should familiarize the variables of your study because this is where you would focus your research and in the actual presentation. So you should know the related theories, research on the specific laws that govern your research, and then research at least five products of researches or related studies. And then lastly, you have to present the opinions of experts regarding your field of interest or your topic. So some schools also would like to request or demand presentation on your methodology. So it differs from one school to the other. So once again, this is Doc Lee, the Assistant Secondary School Principal of Dr. Cecilia Putong National High School, in the same time the research director of the school. Good luck to your research endeavor and God bless. Please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Bye!